Hello, everyone. This is Kalea Chrisman from Natural Medicine Mamas. Um, this is the first video that you've seen me in, I guess. Um, I've got this thing in my head because I've tried this video putting this microphone just on my desk, and it makes this horrible, loud noise. So, I mean, like feedback, you know. So, anyway, so I have it here. So, I look like I'm in a call center. Sorry. And then I have the sheet here because you don't want to see my office. And yeah, so I'm going to be going over today um, our new Grow Your Own Nutritional Herb Seed Kit. And I was asked to do this particular video because I have a Bachelor's of Science degree in horticulture with an emphasis in production. And I've been doing plants since I was about 14, so almost 20 years now. So it's kind of my thing, I guess. Um, yeah, so I'll show you what you'll be getting in your kit, which is this instructional packet, several pages long, but don't be overwhelmed by that because I'm going to simplify it for you. And then you get the actual seeds there, and then, where'd it go? Oh, and you get a little surprise, but I'm not going to tell you what it is because then it wouldn't be a surprise. So, all right, going over this. So in your, uh, the first column here, this is what it looks like on almost every page. So in the first column over on this side is the plant and the application focus. So, um, so it's the plant, the common name here, and then what part of the body you can use it for. But I'm going to talk more about that in just a minute. Um, then there's the scientific name, and then under that I also have the family that it's in. Um, in case you want to do further research or learn more about how to identify that family. And then the difficulty. And then I've got plant information like sun exposure, soil needs, life cycle, and dimensions. And in the life cycle portion, I've got if they're an annual or a perennial or biennial. And if they're a perennial, I have what USDA zone um, they perform the best in. And then I've got how to grow here, whoa, here, here. And then I've got harvest and suggested applications and this is the part of the plant that you harvest and what time of the year to harvest it and then also sometimes what part of the day to harvest it and um, and then we've got little ideas of, of different things that you can put it in like salves or creams or teas or tinctures or whatever but use your imagination and don't just do what we say here and then additional notes I've got just in, mostly interesting tidbits like if they attract butterflies or if they're deer resistant, things like that. But there is one in particular that I can think of that um, has really important information for you, especially if you have livestock. So be sure to look over that um, and don't just skip over it because you think it's just extra stuff. And then at the back, um, I've got some things to remember. Whoa, how do I get this to focus? Sorry. And then I've got, whoa, here I am. Basic terms to know, right there. So, and that's for for um, beginners especially, but anyone really. And if you're looking through this and you go, what is well-drained soil anyway? Like, everyone says that. What does that mean? Or, I have no idea what a semi-evergreen is. Or, I have no idea what... Um, like how many hours is full sun? That kind of thing. Um, that should be covered in your basic terms to know. And then in the things to remember, I'm just going to go over a few things really quick. The, um, the first thing is the use of these plants extend far beyond the categories in which we have put them. We have separated them according to their most common use to make it easier for you to grow and use and learn. As you progress in your knowledge and experience, you will naturally come across other wonderful uses for them. So. For example, like I showed you this first one, how it says skin, right here. Um, yes, you can use it for skin, but there are so many other, like, especially with some of these others, there are so many things you can use them for um, besides the skin. So, um, and as you get to know the plants, you will you will come across those things and learn those things. The next thing is, is that several of these herbs are, are considered herbs, um, and as such, they need to have room to spread. They have a tendency to be prolific. And so they either need the space or you need to put them in a pot. And we have instructions here if you do decide to put them in a pot because they do take a little bit of extra care. Uh, I 
think that's basically a, it for an overview. If there are any more questions that you have about the seed packet before you buy it that haven't been covered in the video, be sure to ask. And once you get the herb packet and you've looked at it and you've watched the video and you're still confused about some things, please let us know. And then once you've gotten your garden in, and especially once it's gotten, once it started growing, please send us a picture. We would love to see it. Um, and you will do great. Um, these plants will bless your life and they're not hard to grow. They just want, they love to grow and they want to serve you. So don't worry, you'll do great. And we'll talk to you later.